<laughs> you got something on your whiskers. Hi everyone, welcome back to Earl Grey Books. I'm Ellie. We are joined with a Fletchy today who is here as my moral support for my July haul revisit. Now I'm doing this one nice and early because I'm taking a break from the 16th of June until the 1st of July. So I wanted to, uh, well I needed something to put up and I realized that I have a lot of content that needs to go up in the first sort of two weeks of July and I couldn't fit this one in. So I thought I would do it now and I didn't think I was going to read any of these between now and then anyway and if I do that's that's great really happy for me <laughs> I'm going to move them so that I don't accidentally drop one and scare Fletch and then we'll be back nice now he's going to rub his face on my books just to make sure that they are Fletchy approved and we'll start with these two which I think are the only ones with a real theme. Can, is it, can I move them? Is that okay? Uh, I have the last two books from uh, Fable Crate before they became, I don't even know what they are now. What, uh, is it Fabled? Anyway, when they were doing their YA box, these were the last two and there was a whole thing with this. I had cancelled it just before they announced that they were cancelling the whole thing. And so I got sent the July box even though I never paid for it. Still don't really know what happened there. But these were the two. Um, I don't remember which was which. But this is the Ambrosia Throne uh, by Tati B. Alvarez. Uh, which is a naked hardcover. It's absolutely gorgeous. It says hope was a dangerous thing on the side. And it's got this like, I don't know, burgundy pages with some roses and lightning bolts. Looks pretty cool. I think this is like Greek mythology. Honestly though, I don't remember. <laughs> And the other one was Belmort uh, by Bella Higgins, um, which is a vampire book. And again, uh, this one's quite simple, just black with a little bit of silver on the side. And some like red, uh, you can't see from here, but they are glittery as well, which is pretty cool. I know it's vampires, that's all that I remember, but it does say that the vampire's name is Edmund, which I don't know, feels a bit like a Twilight reference, almost. Uh, I, I'm still interested in this one. I, I want to give them both a go. I do have a video planned for both of these. I've been planning it for months and I just keep pushing it back, but eventually there will be something also apologies if you can hear the child crying in the background i'm sure i'm sure it's fine next uh we're just gonna go into everything else i only have 10 this month probably should have said that earlier a few new ones and that's we're just gonna go down the list as I've stacked them. Uh, so first of which is Strange the Dreamer by Lainey Taylor. Uh, I bought this one second hand. It's kind of beaten up. Honestly, I, I don't know anything about this one. Uh, I read the first book in her Daughter of Smoke and Bone series oh, ages and ages ago, probably like 12 years ago now, if my math is mathing. Um, and I enjoyed it, but I never continued it, and then I just lost interest. I don't know if she's going to be for me. I know that lots of people talk about her beautiful lyrical writing. I don't know that I like that. I don't know. So we're going to find out, and we'll see if Lainey Taylor's brand of lyrical writing works for me. 
Uh, next we have one that I did by New and that is Metamorphosis by Ovid. I don't know, I was going through something <laughs> last June and I was searching for this book for months and I had such a hard time finding a copy. By the time I finally got this one, I'm not going to say I was not interested because I did like have it here um, when I had my little stacks of things and like I was planning on reading it and I just never got around to it but one day I, I feel like I just have to be in a specific classic slash mythology mood for this one. Uh, another one I got secondhand was The Night Watchman by Louise Erdrich. Uh, I started this one last year when I got it. I think honestly possibly even the night after. Uh, and I read a little bit of it and I was enjoying it but I just put it down for something and I just never came back to it. But I do still really really want to get to it. I think because it, the spine is quite distinctive. I see it on my shelves all the time and I always think like oh I can't wait to read that but I just haven't made the time for it. Let's do the last one that I got secondhand and then we'll go into the new ones. This one is Past the Shallows by Fable Perret. This is set I think in Tassie from memory. Yes, remote south coast of Tasmania. Um, I just noticed there's a huge chunk missing out of like the side of this. Anyway, um, this is about like a young boy and his brothers, possibly a dog from what I can tell. I really like Fable Perrette. I have enjoyed two of her books previously. I'll get to this one at some point. New ones! How exciting! Um, I have four. First of which is the Marvelers by Donnie Clayton. Uh, I believe, actually, I don't know when this came out. I had pre-ordered it, but I'm not sure when I ended up actually picking it up. Anyway, um, I also started reading this one, just wasn't in the mood for a middle grade fantasy at the time. So I put it down, but I'm hoping to get back to it when I'm in the mood for something like that again. We'll see. It's, you know, it's a magical school sort of thing and I feel like I read a lot of that when I do read middle grade fantasy, so when I have time. I also believe this is the first in a series and I don't think I've seen anything else about a second one, but it might be worth looking that up before I decide to start. Uh, I have Traitor by Amanda McCrina. So this one didn't arrive in time for Eurovisionathon last year and then I just didn't get to it this year and honestly it's gonna go back on my TBR for next year because I it's set in Poland it follows a half Polish half Ukrainian soldier so I'm probably just gonna save it for the readathon again. Next well last two are romance actually oh is that an oh okay I did not know that was in there <laughs> um this is Wicked Beauty by Katie Robert and the thing I was ooing and ahhing about is this beautiful piece of artwork which I, I really did not know was in there uh this is the third book in the Dark Olympus series I love the first two honestly couldn't tell you why I haven't gotten to this one or I don't know I just I guess I just haven't been in the mood for it and I just this is one of those books that I feel like I have to save for exactly the day that I need it and on that day I will suddenly know that this is the book that I want but that's stupid because I'm never gonna have that day that day does not exist I just need to pick it up because I love Katie Robert. I love this series. I know I'm gonna like this book. I just have to do it. And then finally, I have K 
Count Your Lucky Stars by Alexandra Belfleur. I might try and get to this one this month with it being Pride Month. This is a sapphic romance and I should have read it by now. I had organized a buddy read of, this is the third book in this series, of book two and three with Aoife from Pretty Purple Polka Dots and then she read it and then I didn't read it and then I continued to not read them and now we're here. Uh, I actually ended up unhauling book two because it was the only like the only straight heterosexual relationship in this trilogy and I tried to read it and I just didn't care at all so I I, I think I'm gonna like this one more so maybe it is something that I'll try and pick up this month and that's all of them for this month not too bad of a stack again like I've alluded to in some of my recent haul revisits uh it gets progressively worse as the year goes on so this one is not terrible and love that for me we'll just we'll just wait for him to get comfy okay you're gonna leave hopefully i will have the chance to read some of these this month and talk through them with you at some point um, but that's it for today. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.